This is a tutorial to help you get started making machinima in the virtual world Second Life. There are various 3D environments in which you can capture machinima, virtual world, video games, and also environments that are created specifically for that purpose. Machinima is a neologism, a new word made up of existing words, machine and cinema. And it, we use it to mean animation captured in real time in a virtual world video game or other 3D graphical environment. You can see more machinima on www.machinima.com. And so what you can do is set up a scene, film it or capture it, and then edit it the way you would edit any kind of footage for either experimental or more traditional narrative purposes. This is a studio set up uh, on Linden Endowment for the Arts land grant and by someone whose avatar's name is Sheik Aeon. As you can see, it is in a box in the sky. Here are the five things that I'm going to show you in this tutorial. One, how to turn off your user interface. Two, how to change your draw distances so that you're only asking your computer system and some other graphic uh, preferences so that you're only asking your computer system to render or draw what you need it to for the shot that you're getting. Three, how to change your lighting. Four, how to move your camera. And five, how to make your avatar lips move like this avatar is doing. Okay, number one, turning off user interface. You have your shot set up and you have all this other stuff, right? You don't want you don't want this stuff. So there is a simple shortcut that you can use on your keyboard, Command Option or Alt F1. That gets rid of the user interface. Now, if you are capturing your whole screen, you might have something you still have to crop out, and the mouse will show depending on what uh, screen capture program you're using. And then to turn your user interface back on, it is the same command uh, on the keyboard shortcut, Command Option F1. That's step one for turning off user interfaces. Now under Me, Preferences, or Command P, this brings up your Preferences panel. And you can go through this sort of at your leisure, but here is what we want to look at graphics. Now you see there's a trade-off, faster or better. <laughs> That's the way it always goes, because if you are asking your system to do more, then you will get better graphics, but things will move slower, and you might really notice this when you are capturing in terms of the frame rate. And you can check your frame rate at any time, by the uh, keyboard uh, shortcut of Control, Shift, and then 1. And that brings up the statistics meter. And I'm going to show you a few things with this. If I put my draw distance low, well, now I'm only getting the things that are close and not further away. I'm losing detail, but my frame rate is way, way up high. And if we go down to an outdoor location. When I'm asking the computer to draw less, of course, I have a much better frame rate. So only set the draw distance at what you need for any particular shot. I'm going to come out here. I want to use these shots sort of judiciously. OK, so draw distance. Draw distance, get more detail, but worse performance. Number three, change lighting, world, sun. And the simplest way, there are sort of four basic times of day. Sunrise, midday, which is what we started on, sunset, midnight. We know how important lighting is to any kind of filmmaking. And it's no different in capturing machinima. You can go to Environment Editor and Environment Settings, and you can choose from these different ones 
you can go to sky presets and new presets sun moon color okay go to 12 p.m here's where you pick the sun moon position where's the think about where the the sun is or a moon <laughs> right and we're changing these as if they were gels and you can change the east angle where's where's that east angle coming from it changes the reflections you can change the clouds <laughs> more clouds whoa it's all cloudy cloud scale where are they there we go you can really manipulate cloud color do something weird maybe you're in some weird dreamscape or world okay so you get the idea that you can really change uh, a lot of things number four of the th basic things you need to know is how to move the camera and there are a couple ways to do that first of all is to use the basic camera tools that are down here this box here and with these you can orbit it says if you hold over it orbit camera around the focus you can set up a shot this way and here move camera up and down left and right so up and down to the right and then you can zoom in zoom out you know and then we would of course turn off our user interface make sure the mouse is out of the shot and set up the shot take capture for however long we wanted and then move on to the next shot the other way would be to keep the user interface off and to set up the shot by using the keyboard and the mouse so you hold down the option or the alt key which you can see turns the mouse uh, indicator into the pointer into this um, uh, magnifying glass and then if I hold down my mouse that centers my frame wherever that was and it goes away and now I can zoom in by scrolling and I can go side to side and zoom just by holding down the option key or alt key now if I add the control, so I've got two fingers down now, I can also tilt. So this gives me sort of a circle that I can make. Um, if I want to go back to my zoom, I take my finger off. I just love this installation. I think it's, it's fantastic. The other way to move your um, again watching out for that mouse cursor make sure it's not in there is to use the 3d space navigator the 3d connection that space navigator and um, that gives you depending on your settings and your the lightness of your touch so the floaty kind of crane shot, that kind of moving camera. Number five, make the avatar lips move. If you go up here to that little start stop all media and you click that, you will bring up the sound and media preferences. You can also do this with command P or with me preferences, but that's the direct thing. Voice chat enabled move avatar lips when speaking and to make sure that there's input you want to check what your input is and uh, you know make sure that you've got the right the right thing selected so there's one more thing I'd like to show you which is this other viewer a third-party viewer called the firestorm viewer and I also wanted to show you this wonderful, not possible in real life uh, art installation by Yupolinos Yugigen called You Are the Music While the Music Lasts here at LEA25, 
which you can uh, visit and also might be an interesting place to film and very interesting use of sound and also other installations on the Linden Endowment for the Arts land grant region so look at those you can always film there and it has a lot of the commands that you might want for making machinima in a pretty handy dandy uh, toolbar photo tools here in general yeah look at this all right here right without having to open we've got our draw distance Here's our statistics meter, which is really nice, our frames per second. There's a second one that is called um, Photo Tools Camera, and then that brings up our cam those same camera commands that we have looked at before. So that's your introduction to the five basic things you need in order to get started making machinima in the virtual world Second Life. Good luck and have fun.